remember my last movie of the most popular hikes in it, around Grenoble. Grenoble is amazingly positioned in nature between three different chains of mountains. Last time I showed you Chamchol, the most popular hike in Chartreuse, and this time we go to Vercors. And today in the autumnal season we are doing another one. We are going to Pic Saint Michel, which is just there. People enjoy Pic Saint Michel because you have views over both sides over Vercors, seeing small villages there, and over Grenoble, with amazing views over the city, and when the weather is good, over Mont Blanc. Another reason for its popularity is its proximity to Grenoble. Proximity means 46 minutes. So we took a road, and initially you can enjoy the beautiful rocks of the National Park of Vercors to finally cross the Lanson Vercors small village, known for cross country skiing and skiing, to later arrive to the first parking, Le Barnet. But this is not the one I recommend. I recommend a slightly higher parking that is close to this cross country skiing uh, departure site. The weather that day was not really easy, so we had to pay attention to choose a good cloud for our girls, especially the little one, which might spend some time in the backpack. And when everyone was ready, well, almost everyone, we departed. Everything starts here, La Sierre. When I say everything, I mean literally hikes, but also cross-country skiing slopes. For kids and for older people, it's a very wonderful walk and you can end it up in one of the auberges, which is a mountain restaurant, which serves amazing food. And today we go further to the Pic Saint Michel. The clouds are rather not encouraging, but I checked the weather forecast and it shouldn't rain. It's rather empty, I would say. Not too many people, which is always cool in the mountains. I hate those popular sites uh, being crowded. And today we definitely are almost alone. As a host, I sometimes need to work even now. So the initial part is rather flat and easy to go. When you're with kids, you basically do pit stops often. So everyone is hungry. We are not cold, so we continue to go. So this is this famous auberge. We are entering Chiporez and this is where the steeper part starts. Pic Saint Michel, 1 hour 40, Col de l'Arc, 1 hour. Both of them are quite amazing. So we are going to take this spot, 1 hour 25, and we'll come back by the other side, which is less steep and nicer to, to walk. <laughs> And now we are getting warm because the trail is pretty steep. There is a lot of rocks which are slightly slippery. So let's go. Let's go up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And now our effort starts to be recompensated with the views. So 
from here we are almost there it's maybe 30 minutes we'll go there and then cross here and some shell is here what is pretty amazing is that on the other side there is a big falls and amazing view over Granopo Valley well almost 40 minutes in fact when we've seen it's been 55 minutes to go we were hesitating if we should continue but we did the problem we had was that it was quite late so we were afraid that we would be going down in the darkness so we really had to go fast And we already see the summit. There are two crosses on top. And from there, we hope to see the view over Granada. Just look on that. It was really worth to suffer a bit in cold and wind. Well, we have view over Mont Blanc. Wow, so, so beautiful. And most of all, we see on the other side, the city of Grenoble with Chartreuse. Congratulations, husband. Congratulations, Maria. High five. Done. Amazing. In fact, because of the cold and time limitation, we did not reach the summit. We missed the last 10 minutes of the hike, but for security, I think that was a reasonable thing to do. We did the promised kite session and then had to immediately go down to avoid problems in descending in the darkness. The first signs that the sun is setting is uh, the orange sky even though it's very cloudy today but now i can see that in one hour it's going to be completely dark so we really need to rush to the car it's a golden hour now a lot of wind sun is slowly setting down we are accelerating to go down as fast as possible uh, because we don't want to uh, be in the darkness when we'll cross the forest a small part in the forest is still in front of us uh, but the, this shouldn't take more like 10 minutes so I'm pretty sure we'll make it before it's getting dark and only 30 minutes later the situation changed drastically not sure if you can notice that but we just entered the forest and immediately it's much 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 darker so luckily we are taking our last five minutes in the forest and then we'll be walking on the open path so it will be much better and safer. We really made it perfectly on time to still enjoy a beautiful sunset. And then on the long flat path to the parking, we were already working in the darkness. It was an amazing adventure for our girls, but I was super happy and enjoyed that day with my family and with beautiful Vercors. If you liked this video, you will definitely like another one that we did about our hike to the top peak of Chartreuse, the Chamchaude.